I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Richi, you might be interested in a book. This is by Scott Miller. It's a great introduction to Richi Mahjong. I'll have a link below the video to where you can get that. It's a wonderful read and it's got lots of information about Richi Mahjong. It even has some strategy. I'm going to do these random pulls to train my mind to see patterns. Identify Yaku, because you got to have a Yaku to win. If you want to know more about it, look below the video. There's a link to a player reference so that you can download that and follow along. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. We'll start with the east round and we'll alternate east and south. And we'll just say we're the dealer for these. So I'm going to get 14 random tiles each time. Two crack is Dora for this first random pull. Look at all these dots. Single honors. As pretty as they are, they won't help with number tiles like this. We do have chi potential in here though. Here's what's called a potential pure double chi. Four, five, six, four, five, seven, eight, nine, potential. I believe that's called Ipiku. Let me see. Ipiku. I don't know if I pronounced that right. So there would be one, two, three blocks, and then we have isolated tiles. So we would need to draw more dots or pair up the honors. I think I would discard these and try for a half flush. Honitsu is a half flush. One suit with winds and dragons. One suit with honors. Hon Itsu. That's what I would try here. Hon Itsu. That would be a two Han Yaku. Lots of chi potential. Oh, and then also the potential for Ipiku. Four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potential there. If we get a two or a three dot, we would even have. A potential for a pure straight. I would definitely focus on dots here. South round. Four bam is Dora. Four bam right there we have Dora so I think what I would probably do here is discard the single honors and focus on cheese all three in a sequence there's a potential chi here and here three four five six we actually have a chi right there using Dora four five six or three four five but if we split them up we have two potentials there here's a pair or a potential chi and then here we have a potential chi. I would start by discarding these and focus on pinfu. These are isolated so definitely work would need to be done here but I would hold number tiles and get rid of these single honors and play pinfu. East round. Two dot is Dora. So here, I would get rid of that first. Focus on Pinfu again. We've got lots of Chi potential in here. This one's isolated, but here's a potential Chi here or here. We have a Chi right there. One, two, three. 
and then two potential tees here. So we have one, two, three, four, five blocks. We do not have a pair. So I would discard this first. Pinfu, that's what I would focus on here. And we even have potential for using Dora because two dot is Dora and we have a one, three, four. South round, fourth random pull. Eight dot is Dora. These single honors are not helpful. It is the south round and we are in the east seat. I think I would probably discard the west first. These are isolated. Here we have a potential chi there and here, here and here. One, two, three, four blocks. We need a pair in here, of course. These are isolated, but I think I would start by discarding the west. Try to draw in number tiles and see if we could pair these up. But we have five BAMs, four cracks, and just a couple of dots. So I don't think playing a half flush with these potential valuable wins would be good. We have way too many discards. I think I would probably end up discarding these single honors and playing Pinfu. All cheese, all three in a sequence. East round, fifth random pull. Seven dot is Dora. Single honors, not helpful. It is the east round and we do have east. So I think probably I would discard the north first. And we do have three pair in here. If we get one more pair, we could maybe play all pwn, all three of a kind, also called toy toy. And we have Dora, seven dot right there. Let's see the chi potential though here or here, five, seven or seven, nine, four, six, isolated, potential chi, one, two, three, and a pair. So only three blocks in there. It's pretty light. We, we have a lot of work to do for this to work. I think I'd rather pair up and play toy toy and maybe hold on to these potential valuable honors because a pwn of your seat wind or the wind of the round, that's a yaku. A pwn of any dragon, that's a yaku too. I would definitely start by discarding north and take it pick by pick. If I paired up, go for toy toy. Try to pair those up. South round, last one. Seven dot is Dora again. Single honors, two pair. Isolated. There's a chi. We got a lot of work to do here, but we do have Dora. I think what I would do here is discard these first. As pretty as they are, I would play Pinfu, which is all three in a sequence. 
I don't think I would consider Toy Toy at this stage because we only have two pair. Toy Toy is all pwn, all three of a kind. I think we'd have just as much work to do for T's though because these are all isolated. These here are isolated. So a lot of work to do for Pinfu here. If you would do anything differently for any of those random pools, write random pool one through six and what you would have done differently. I think there might have been a chance, I think in random pool two for Chanta, which is called outside hand, where you have ones or nines or all honors in all your sets. So I'm gonna have to watch the video and see if there was in fact a chance for Chanta. And again, that's why I like to do this exercise. Train my mind to see Yaku potential. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.